with basketball season starting and Lakers being my team, I know I can go on game time, trusted source to find the best price, know exactly what I'm getting. You shouldn't have to worry when you're buying tickets to your next big event. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, and use code almost pro for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code at almost pro, A L M O S T P R O, for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Yay Networks. I'm back. We're back. Welcome back to Almost Pro at uh, USC Football Podcast. Our guests today are my boy right here from the basketball world, mm-hmm. Isaiah. Um, we call him Zay. Um, and 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 Kaylin coming on later. But other mm-hmm. than that, we got, as we know, the man, the myth, the legend, John T. Mm. Yeah, John. So I'm here for. And then, <laughs> I mean, I would. I mean, we got the cream. The cream uh, yeah, type of I'm virus really scenes on the day. day with the twelves on type of day, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he told me he's officially bit. only bugs. He's like oh. puffy and Diddy now. I get only confused bugs. what to call him. Yeah, L's no more. It's just <laughs> yeah, bugs now. it's just bugs. Yeah, yeah you smooth. go from L Simpson. I like L his bugs. <laughs> yeah, it's smooth. Yeah, I'm what remains now. Just bugs. Yeah. Well, last week um, I wasn't you know able to make it, but we had O'Shea, Zach, and uh, uh, Keyshawn, and, um, and 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 so that. They yeah. held it down. They, they held, held it, down. it down. They did. We missed you, but they held it down. Yeah, they held it down. Um, and then the Tinder Fest. Um, mm. Want to talk about that? I know. Yeah. I think something you, very close and, to you my and heart. Deuce were there. Yes. Um, and then yeah. obviously, like John just said, something very close to his heart. I wasn't able to make that either. Um, um, but you know, I'm gonna try and make it next year. But I ate enough for both of us. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> so I appreciate the BG, that. BG came too. <laughs> I mean, all kidding aside, there's something about chicken tenders that brings everyone together. Yeah, it's, it's we we're kind of talking denominator. good eats. Yeah, we were, eats. we were kind of talking about it, and we're going we gonna to talk about it. What? Your food selection. All right, baby. Yeah, Connecting yeah. to this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, he eats nothing. <laughs> no, I'm just piggy. He, he doesn't I gotta eat. I got to hear that. Just piggy. You I'm know, piggy tamales? Too. Nope. We good. He won't eat Never. tamales. You don't, eat, you don't eat tamales? No. Nope. All right. I got to yeah. hear this. What else? What else? No he, only, he basically only eats steak. I used steak, to, chicken I used to. tenders, chicken wings, <laughs> fries, fries, Philly really cheese steak, maybe finger foods, finger foods, finger foods. Yeah. keep mm. it simple. Yeah, I mean, we, it's kind of like, like Steve Jobs' approach to to clothing, to dressing. Yeah, you know his his approach was only wear the same outfit. Maybe it keeps it like your mind less cluttered. He, probably that's probably what it is. I like Just, it. That's probably simplicity it. of it. Yeah, yeah. By the way, this is the first time we've had. Someone outside of the football team on and actors, right? So yeah. first, this is our first breaking history books, man. A big moment, I yeah, 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 big moment. <laughs> sure. um, but yeah, I mean, we'll be on. So every Wednesday at, at USC, we have a um, is it's farmers market, farmers market Wednesday. Yep. And so we go get you know the Kayla special, which is a blue lemonade from this this freshly um, you know squeezed lemonade place um, at, there, and then. We'll grab some food or something. He never grabs anything but the but the drink. He doesn't even try it. Doesn't even attempt it. Wait, what's simple. what's the drink? It's just it's just a, a large Sea Will special. Yeah, Sea Will special. The drink what? top five. No, no, no. no, drink top five. Drink top five. And drink what's top in five. It? It's just it's just blueberries, uh, blueberry lemonade, and then blueberries at the bottom, and then extra lemonade. Wow. Not blueberry. Not blueberry lemonade. Extra just regular lemonade. And where do, you, where do you get this at the? I don't, I don't even know the name of it. Just a friend is asking. I don't even, I don't even know the name of it. But nice guy drink. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I really forgot the name of the of the. And you of can only place. get it at USC. Well, they have it. They have they have a store, but I I oh, okay. only go on Wednesdays because right. it's it's right on campus in the middle of campus. And that's all that's all Isaiah eats. That's all he gets there. Yeah, the drink. It's top five though, like you said. Top five. Don't like miss. It. Don't miss. Taste buds. Don't miss. Be honest with you. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, Elba, is there any fall activities that we've already been a part of or anything on campus or anything that we need to be aware of up and coming? Up and coming. Up and coming or, or, or already happened? I mean, it's both. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. in that mode. Of, I'm a senior this year, you know, so I got to get in that mode, um, you know, before grad school, you know yep. what I'm saying, all that. But I'll start with uh, probably say, you know, last night, you know, because – Winning is hard. Winning, winning you know, is hard. It's, it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Half a team lost yesterday. Hey, man, we didn't, you know? Um, I was outside last night. 
You know, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even lie. Like, you know, they told me it'd be a calm night, probably on the hundred people. You know, I'm like, you know what? It's going to go well. I could just feel it. 600 people cap capacity hit. It was just rolling, you know? So I had a time and a half, you know what I'm saying? Um, future, uh, USC versus UCLA after, you know, with the, with the alphas. Shout out to the alphas. I don't know if we'll be there. But yeah, we got you know, know we got, we got some handle cool. first, you know. But Midnight Madness too was was pretty special. That was yeah. that was that was rolling. For the first yeah, one, for the first one was pretty. It was pretty cool. Not gonna lie, that, um, was, that was a lot of fun. How did you guys like like the as a basketball team? Oh, it was smooth. It was lit. Uh, like you said, it was the first time having it for USC basketball. So I mean, yeah. it was a fun event. Energy was there. So, Sweetie I mean, YG. I mean, that, yeah, that's, that's how at the end. That's how Midnight Madness used to always be in the heyday of Duke and North Carolina. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't. I had never seen USC do one, so I yeah. thought it was. Pretty yeah, you insane. always see it from them type of schools. So yeah. I mean, it was good to have it at USC for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Speaking of that, I got jumped over. Let's uh -oh. just, let's just. Let's oh just, yeah, oh yeah. Just, yeah. Just, just I got jumped. It was, it was a, on purpose though. I didn't just. It wasn't no accidental. Like, <laughs> it was on purpose. Just I was, <laughs> I was gonna stop you from doing yeah. that. I got. I just saw no I've good seen, coming from that. I just knew, I just knew BG. I've seen him jump over people and, and, yeah. and things like that already. So I was like, all right, like I I think he can do it. I was pretty I was like 99.9% .9 sure I did have it. Right, you guys nervous? You saw you saw it, right? Was we nervous? No, not at all. Nah, BG jumped still, over yeah. seven foot people before. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, he was I actually I was mad good. he didn't do a different dunk. So I think yeah, he actually, we were walking. He said he should have windmilled it. Oh, yeah, windmilled like, it. Right. <laughs> He said he should have windmilled it. I was like, oh nah. I was I was cool with the one he did. He was yeah. Blue. yeah. 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 But um, were you a little nervous or no? You I was nervous. Knew. I started oh, you sweating. Okay. okay. Cause I was a little nervous. <laughs> I I'm sure started sweating. I'm like, we got a game. We got what was it? Utah we had a game. Ends, Utah versus Utah. Yeah. And and a dude about to jump over me two two days before the game. It's not damage or something. Yeah. Bad. Mm. Bad. 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 Let's let's get into let's get into. You know, this this guy right here next to me, um, originally from ATL, uh, he was the number one recruit, um, you know, coming out. He just played uh, one of the scrimmages. I think he had 23 and like 23, nine and like four or something, something sick. Type of um, night. And, yeah. You know, type of night. Um, <laughs> crush, <laughs> crush it in Greece, too. Yeah, crush it in Greece and things like that. You know, a bunch of a bunch of other accolades and things like that. But let's talk about who you are, where you're from. Family members, um, you know, how many siblings or, or um, you know, things like that you want to let people know? Yeah, I'm from uh, east side of Atlanta, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Um, I grew up with my parents, my, my brother and my sister. Uh, I'm the youngest of three, so um, I always got, you know, a little bully sometimes, you know, just being the youngest. So, I mean, I think that helped me grow up, you know, fast, really. So, um I mean, then I ended up coming out here um, for college, and my parents moved out here. So I mean, it's been fun so far since I've been out here for sure. What made you just? What, what was your main decision to choose USC? Uh, it was definitely a family program. I mean, just the the relationship I built with the coaches um, and things like that. So I mean, it was it was an easy choice for me. It's a hard process though for most, especially yeah. someone being so highly recruited. Yeah. Is there was there any sort of process you did, or was it with your family, or? Um, for me, I mean, not really. Um, my recruitment actually was kind of weird than everybody else because I didn't really get recruited by like COVID? the name schools. Oh. So it was just like the name schools didn't really recruit me like that. So it was like I had schools, so like, you know, I broke it down to about four. Got it. And then made a decision. Got it, got Very it. Cool. November 6th. Yeah. That's tip off night. Yeah, hmm. it's about a week away. About a week away. Yeah. I'm excited. I always like to go and show love to, you know, the basketball team and, you know, go out there and support y'all because, I mean, shit, we see y'all yeah. up there with DJ. 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 <laughs> Boogie. Right. Yeah, every game. Up there supporting game. us. Um, and so uh, I like to always go to the games. And so uh, whenever we can get out, work it out. But, you know, tip off versus uh, who do y'all play? Kansas State. Kansas State. Um, you know, let's talk about, let's talk about, Talk about that a little bit. Excited and, yeah. and what's what's to come for that? It's gonna be a hard one for sure. Uh, they was in Elite Eight last year, so I mean it's not gonna be no slack. Uh, we're going to Vegas, you know. I mean I feel like we prepared, but I mean we're gonna take this this week to get prepared as far as just scouting and things like that. So I mean, goal is to go in there and win, come back. Yeah. 
How uh, how have you been liking being on campus so far? Is yeah, there any like freshman experience? Anything uh, hard that you did that you didn't expect to experience? Anything hard? Uh, school. <laughs> there's, yeah. there's that. I mean, there's I mean, that. There's that. There's that part still of make you guys go to school. Yeah, yeah so I mean, so you, you, I'm joking. In case I'm leaving the, I'm leaving the house. Kind of. I'm, yeah, I'm leaving the house at like six. I don't get back to about six. So yeah, yeah, I mean, you gone are. the whole day. It's good though. Like six to eight. Miss class, get in trouble. Yeah, they'll be calling. Oh yeah, you class at? checks. Yeah, they we call. We, they call we, where you we at? Both got class checkers. We'll be we'll be going to the market. And, and Zay has class right after. Yeah, at twelve at noon. And, and so, uh, you know, they they've, they've 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 gotten us a couple of times going to the market a little later. Um, calling, you going to class? Yeah, we going. <laughs> yeah, on the way for sure. Um, but you, you know, I know you. I've met your parents. You have, you have a great family situation. Sure. I think that's key. Yeah. What's it like with the rest of the guys? Is the team camaraderie good? Yeah, I mean, everybody's close to one another. Uh, we hang out a lot. Um, I yeah, think that Greece trip, players. yeah, that Greece trip uh, definitely uh, built that bond. Yeah. Um, I mean, we went to a different country not knowing what to expect, but, I mean, it was a culture shock for sure. So, I mean, just being over there, I mean, we learned a lot together. Um, as far as just hanging around, I mean, we didn't really know what to do, so we all had did it together. So yep. that, that, that built a lot of... Uh, Bon. And, and the team gets so much notoriety about Bronny being yeah. on the team, but he's yeah, such got, a good kid. How, do, how does, like, the team handle it all well in stride? Or? I mean, yeah. I mean, we know what's going on. So, I mean, yeah. the media going to be there. So, it is what it is. Yeah, we got a bunch of bunch of new guys. Um, yourself, Bronny. Um, we got Denrod. Yeah. Um, we got... Uh, PG. BG, AP, AP. Uh, I'm excited. To, I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited to like out of all the players, other than other than Zay. I'm excited to see uh, 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 AG, AP or AP. Yeah, I mean, AP. I said AG. Think yeah. BG. Um, uh, AP. Because I remember I came to the. Um, what was that? Y'all were playing. Yeah, like? we played Sierra Can. Sierra uh, Can uh, at USC, USC, and I was, was I was school. I went to go watch it, and. Uh, him and him and him and Brownie, I didn't know. Yeah. AP was on the team and the AP was out there just dominating. Yeah. Taking the ball down the court, shooting mid ranges, and then obviously, you know, working working the, you know, boards and things like that. So I'm excited to see see my man AP. I love it. Yeah. On the on the Greece trip, I saw a video of y'all jumping off rocks. Yeah, crazy. They I've done that before. You know, oh, I, see, I was gonna ask if you <laughs> See, I've done I, that I, I'm not doing none of that, bro. So, <laughs> so I watched it all, but I was like, "Y'all got that." Y'all got it. I've done I, that I'm not before. jumping off no rock. I bet you have. Eighty foot cliff. No, I mean, no, no yeah. parachute, no nothing. Just no free more. Fall that's, in that's in the water. Eighty feet. Yeah, that's in the. That's in the eighty past. feet. I know you wilder. But I was, I was that's like, that's in the past. I don't remember how old I was, but I was, I was young. I wouldn't do it now though. I'm not afraid of heights, but it's just pure heights for the dogs. Yeah. Con considering uh, the title of our podcast is Almost Pro, which is where you are, what's your what's your thoughts and experience with NIL? Something you like it? Uh, I mean, yeah, you like it because uh, you get to build off your name. So, I mean, it's always great to, you know, get that type of opportunity uh, now. Uh, but, I mean, it's just like really separated from what, what, you, what you really came here for and, yeah. and those type of things. So, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. I got something that we that we – when I'm on, at least, we always ask, which is the before the game, either the night before the game or, um, you know, maybe a couple hours when y'all get to the to the stadiums and things like that. Mm -hmm. Or when you wake up, you got like a routine or like a superstition that you have to have or have to like a, a certain pair of socks, yeah, a certain pair of shoes. That's or, our key question. A routine? Yeah, um, or a routine the night before or, or day of the game. Ain't gonna lie. So if you text me on game day, I'm most likely not texting yeah. back. So uh, yeah. that's a ritual of mine. Uh, I always got to wear Kobe's. Um, okay. Hmm. You always I, wear Kobe's for the game or before the game? Like yeah, night before? Nah, in the game. In the game? Yeah. So, I mean, uh, I don't know. Like, I haven't felt right if I don't wear Kobe's. Okay. So, I mean, as long as I have, like, if one day I might have my own shoe or something like that, maybe okay. I wear my own shoe. But for right now, Kobe's, I mean, that's how I feel like I play good in. Um, it's just a feeling of just having it. Um and then, I mean, you no, know, some pasta. That's that's always gonna get me right for the game. Yeah. The night before? Nah, maybe the day of. The day of. Maybe the day of. But no other superstition. Not none weird for no, real. Not uh, too many superstitions we've run across, you know? Yeah, not much. I mean, so. I, I keep it straight. I mean, I keep it basic. So yeah. I like it. 
What type of music do you listen to before? Little Baby. There we Little go. Baby. Oh, thank Finally. God. ATL. Thank you. Yeah, ATL. I mean, thank you. Caleb's on like Kenny G and stuff before. Yeah. And finally, we got some hype nah, going. Uh, um, you know, keep it Atlanta. <laughs> keep it Atlanta. <laughs> keep it Atlanta. <laughs> Real Atlanta. <laughs> you got to keep it Atlanta for sure. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But other than that, that's all I got. Oh, Buzz, you got... Is Kobe, is that your GOAT? That's what I wanted to ask you. Yeah. Nah, Brown is my GOAT. There we can see, because Kalen, I was waiting for the Kalen. Nah, <laughs> hey. I know he was going to say something. Hey, so. Brown is the GOAT. It, okay. It's no question. He, I, mean, I, my, I did go to that Brown game. He's been playing since I was born. How was that? That was fire. It was fire? Yeah, yeah I've seen I've seen. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen you on seen, TV. You saw him on TV? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I do want to speak on this. <laughs> Lil Wayne came up to me. Oh, yeah, I, I just seen the video. The little video. I just I, seen the video. Of yeah, well, I was fine with coming up to me. That was yeah. cool. Like, yeah. the goat. Like, he, he, he created, you know, it was two headed goat. Two headed goat. Yeah. Yeah. Lil Champ Wayne. Champagne, yeah. Ch you know what I mean? Of course. Right? I just seen the video today, actually. But I saw uh, the video of, of him and his to son, son talking. Yeah. And, and, and he came, like, his son pointed me out across the court. And his dad, Lil Wayne, gets up and walks all the way around. I guess he's about to go do something else, use bathroom or go in the back. And then he said, uh, he said, what's up to me? And it was just like a cool kind of. Do you get it? Do you like, do you care about that stuff? Or is it because it's someone like Lil Wayne? It was just more Because everyone like tries Wayne. to come up. It was like cool. It was like cool because it's Lil Wayne. That's a special one. That's a special one. Just because. I like that. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a goat. But, That's hard. Um, and then he, he goes yeah. back to his son. He's like. He's like, uh, I told him, uh, I told him something, and I was like, I don't remember what I said. Uh, he was like, go kill those boys, and I said, we'll do. Um, there we go. Was, yeah, it was. Maybe we work Little Wayne into our pregame superstition. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe, <laughs> maybe add a little wheezy, a little wheezy to it. Tell him right now um, or something. I, my my last question for for you is, uh, since you you just went kind of, in my opinion, just went through this process of. NIL and getting in. What advice would you give to similar same kid going through it? Now for next year, uh, I mean for me, it's always keeping the main thing the main thing, and having your people focus on those type of things as yeah. far as just trying to get that thing, uh, those the, those type of things together. But I mean, I've never like really just was hands on myself. You know, I always just left it up to my parents and stuff like that. So it's just like, you know, you you gotta you here for a reason, and, and you, that's your number one goal. So you handle that and let the other people handle what you. Need to handle. That's good advice. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Uh, same, same, same. Well. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate That's safe for you. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm back and, you know, with these with these two great, great men over here. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the first half of it. And uh, we'll have Kaylin coming on next. Yes, sir. Great. Thank seven. you. Bugs, when's the last time you needed to get a concert ticket or sports ticket? Man, probably a few months ago for the Drake concert, man. It was just taking too long. It wasn't, it was complicated. It's literally the most annoying process. I'm slammed at work. I never have any time. I needed to get something for an uh, upcoming anniversary. Dang, bro. I went on game time. Easy. Simplest thing I've ever done. And then the other best part is they have that flash deal. You go straight on the app, swipe, it gets you the best price. It was simple. I got to see exactly where I wanted to go. It took me a second. I'm only using game time. Well, shoot, I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to use game time. You shouldn't have to worry when you're buying tickets to your next big event. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. Game time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. See the view from your seat before you buy. So you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. All in prices, Show your total up front so you know you're getting a great deal before you check out. Find exclusive flash deals and sponsored deals on tickets for football, basketball, baseball, concerts, comedy, theater, and more. So last second, my best friend flying in, diehard Magic fan. I'm a diehard Laker fan. I needed to get tickets for us. Truly didn't know where to go or what to do because I just, I don't trust these sites. I don't know what fees they're charging. More importantly, I don't know where I'm sitting ahead of time when on game time. Within seconds, I got to choose exactly what I needed, the price I needed it at, and now I get to go have the Lakers beat them. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code ALMOSTPRO for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code ALMOSTPRO, A L M O S T P R O, for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, 
Lowest price guaranteed. We're back. Um, like I said, we're back with, as uh, L Bug said, C7. Mm. We're not talking about Christian. We're talking about Kalen. Uh, Kalen Bullock, um, our teammate, safety, uh, All American. Um, mm. I can go down the list. Uh, Mr. Pick. <laughs> um, you know, the face of Pasadena. And as L Bug said, the face of Pasadena. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> Let's get into let's get into that portion first. Is is you know growing up in Pasadena, California, um, you know, and and kind of diving into yourself and like I like I said for all the other football players that that come on here and teammates is you know they don't get to see our face really um, outside of barely when our helmets come off or you know if you're on an interview or something which people don't watch as much as as you know maybe this or you know seeing you somewhere else like basketball players like Zay or uh, whatever the case may be. Oh, yeah, growing up in Pasadena, uh, I got three brothers, one sister. Uh, you know, the hometown out there is is Bruins, uh, UCLA. So growing Ooh. up, yeah, you know, Sorry. I always Sorry. I always been a USC fan, but family and friends, you know, the UCLA that that Rose Bowl meant a lot to them. Yeah. So when I when I picked USC, it was it was it was a big deal to go across town rivalry, uh, but. It's fun being being. You, a kid. Went, you went to Muir High School. Yeah, I went to John Muir High School. Uh, but yeah, like I was about to say, it's fun uh, being a kid from Pasadena, rapping from my city, uh, being close home. It, it meant a lot uh, coming to USC. I always got a big supporting cast at every single home game. Uh, I try to get as much people I can to my game, so that means a lot to me. Did you, where where were you looking at besides SC? Were you, you recruiting wise? Uh, it was here, Oregon, and Texas. Did, they, did, they, did either of them have a chance? Nah, Coach, well, Oregon did. Coach Dante, who's our DB coach, he was at Oregon, and then he got the job here at USC, and that just made it even better that gotcha. he came to USC. Mm. It's closer home, and it was no brain I was coming here. I love it. Smooth. What's the, you know, you've been here, you were here before I got here, um, mm. and things like that. Um, you were you went through that, that rough year. Oops, um, and so, you know, been able to go through a couple of different, you know, seasons and things um, for the past three years. So, you know, favorite part of USC and and or college life? I would say my favorite part is just the school. Uh, I say everybody's close, especially the athletic part. Uh, not many schools you don't see the, every athletic team is eating with each other and Galen, uh, people interacting with each other. I would yeah. say that's a big that's a big thing. Seeing that uh, when we get to interact with the basketball players. And baseball players, all that. Everybody's close off the field, so we know we know yeah. names and faces when we see each other. And I'll say that's the biggest part that I took away from this is building connections with people, uh, getting out more instead of just talking to my team. I get to talk to other teams and get to pick their brain and learn from them. Yeah, so, oh. when I was at Midnight Mattis, it seemed like there was so much camaraderie between all the sports, which was really cool. All yeah. the athletes, because you don't see that too often. Yeah. That's a good testament to recruiting. Yeah. Since we're talking about the, <laughs> I mean, let's get into it. My boy, round the cone, <laughs> round the cone, setting up the steps, takes off. Oh, no, he didn't even stretch though. He didn't, even stretch. <laughs> didn't stretch. I don't even know if the shoes was laced. I think he was in dunks. I don't even think. I don't even know if the shoes was laced. You know, goes up there and slams it. Crazy slam. That was a crazy, crazy dunk. Yeah. Crazy I, I slam. I had to. I had to. My boy BG turned me up on the side. BG turned me yeah, up. I could hear him. He was Deuce slammed it. Deuce dunked first before everybody. And then. <laughs> I mean, Deuce was dunking. Crocs. <laughs> Shout yeah. out B-Rice. Shout out B-Rice, man. Hey, he got Shout, out B-Rice. Shout, Shout out B-Rice. He got a bag of blood, though. He got a bag of blood. Shout out B-Rice, though. Got a bag of blood, but That was damn. crazy. Bro, that was for Braun, though. I, I could tell. The, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was rough. I had to punch it. Yeah. Did you play it. basketball too? Baseball. Baseball. Basketball just for Anybody fun. playing baseball? Did Bro played baseball. Can't throw. I throw perfectly. Center fielder though. Center fielder. Did you want to pursue it too or no? Nah. Uh, baseball was my second love. Uh, so I was playing baseball all the way up to high school my sophomore year. I got my first offer in football. And then that changed my mindset on football to where I really opened my eyes and yeah. believed that I could go far with the football. Yeah. So since we, you know, I'm still on the little topic a little bit. I've seen, I've seen Kalen, you know, dunk and things like that, dunk like that. 
you know, take off. Um, so it wasn't a huge surprise to me. We go hoop at at, at the rec. Mm. Um, a bunch of us, we go and, you know, get it in. A bunch of football players. We only play football versus football. We don't play really versus randoms unless unless some of the, you know, basketball players want to come and, come and hoop with us because we know a, a sense of control yep. yeah. um, that, that others don't understand or know. Um, and so... Um, you know, we, we, we do get it in. And so, uh, when we're on that court, uh, we get it in and, 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 uh, it's fun. So I've actually seen them do it, but it was, it was pretty hype. You know, like you said, being able to, to me, it was like mind blowing. It's out yeah, of the blue. Yeah. Out of the blue. He went up and yammed it and it was, you know, brought a lot of energy to, it also made me nervous, you know? Yeah. But These we guys dunking. Like, yeah. We had a bunch of football players doing a bunch of do different things. Drop a defender, <laughs> yeah. You know? A bunch of, a bunch of different football players in the hoop LA doing a bunch of different a bunch of different things. So I think I had a bunch of couple people. Yeah. I would say a couple people actually. Um, you know, kind of nervous, but nah, we we were all good. It was fun. It was, it was fun. Exciting. But it was really fun. um it what was do you fun. think of the hoop LA? Like keep doing it? Yeah, I think fine and keep Yeah, keep I think getting. we we should keep doing it. Yeah. So since I've been here, that was the first time. the alums come back. And yeah. That was the first was time that that I was seen it come back. I think it's the first time yeah, ever. They brought it back. I think it's the first time ever. They keep saying they brought it back. I mean I Worth the footage. I'm, I'm as old as yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, you get in the room. I've never heard. I know they keep being like, "Oh, we're bringing it back." I'm like, "Bringing it back means it was here in the first place." It was already place, here. Yeah. Too many car facts. Either way, we'll let's have it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah, version they did before wasn't like what what yeah. happened. No, there, we should so. keep that one. It was no, fun. No, no, no. Good yeah, and then and then shout out to to all of the the cheerleaders, song girls, and um the what's the Pardon divas. Yeah, divas. Yeah, Pardon divas. Um, you know they. They made it fun. They made it fun. Made it. I mean, it was it's, it was really cool for um, you know them to be able to go out there and 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 cheer and dance and things like that that you know other schools probably aren't doing where they have their cheerleaders yeah. and, and dancers and you know whatever the case may be actually going along with like they've been training with you know like Sweetie or whatever. Right. Um, to have something like that was was really cool. So um, shout out to all of them and, and and things like that with Hoop LA. Probably like a lot of you. I love basketball and I love watching basketball with my friends, but what's made it even more fun, prize picks. Prize picks is the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America. It is the easiest and most exciting way to play DFS. It's just you against the numbers. Prize picks is the most fun I've had winning up to 25 times my money this football season. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats and place your entry. Want to play along some of prize picks, favorite players like rapper Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz. You can now find community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entries from some of the biggest names in the prize picks community each week. Prize picks even offers a reboot policy so that your entries stay in play. Even if one of your players gets injured, it is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy with my busy schedule and being slammed at work and family prize picks makes it so easy to scroll through and view the stats of my favorite players and picks makes it fun. I'm only using prize picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash almost pro and use code almost pro for a first deposit match up to $100. Again, visit prizepicks.com slash almost pro and use code almost pro for a first deposit match up to $100. Daily fantasy sports made easy. But yeah, let's get into, let's get into battle. Um, it was, it was going into half. It was 17, 28 cow. We were down. Um, at the end of the game, it ended up being 50 ball to 49, um, with a with a with a failed two point conversion, and then a couple you know kind of kind of run the run the clock down kind of plays for for offense. So let's dive into that quick trip up north, um, very quick trip, yeah. which is great. We yeah. love the, the quick flights. <laughs> quick. Yeah. Uh, sitting that plane after a win or a loss, uh, you know, you just you get kind of antsy sometimes. So. Um, it's like when you when you go out of town or when you're driving to 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 San Diego or something, you're excited, you have something going on, then you gotta drive back. And yeah. the drive back's the worst part. I know it's probably yeah. shorter time. Yeah. But no, quick trip up north and yeah, let's 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 get into battle. Um tough game. I mean, normally, I mean, let's be honest. Um they 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 showed out, had a had a had a amazing game, cow. Um and and, and did their life. thing. But you know, and not speaking on any of their play or anything like that, but I mean, there's normally like a couple thousand people in the stands. Yeah. I mean, the yeah. stadium was almost full. Yeah. Um, and so it goes back into the whole thing that I talked about 
um, whether it's interviews or on this, is is every team wants to yeah beat us, beat us, yeah. um, regardless of what Being our record is, regard, yeah, yeah, regardless of who we are, what our record is, um, you know how the season's been going for us. You know, we we still got a target, um, and so um, there's a certain sense of of understanding to that, um, and then you know from my side of it, we gotta we gotta get better. Um, we got a certain sense of urgency that we have to you know, pursue, um, to pursue consistency and greatness. Um, cause to be honest with you, we have a weirdly special opportunity, um, for, for USC and the, and the football team. Um, you know, with these two or these, these three ranked teams, three games mm-hmm. coming up, yeah. three, coming up. three big games yeah. coming up, which yeah. nobody really knows. Nobody, you know, there's never been a, a two loss playoff team, but I mean, if if any year was the year, I mean, yeah, It'll be this year. We got a we got a, yeah. we got a really special opportunity. So we gotta yeah. we gotta to even come close to it to even you know to, to do anything special like that. We, I mean, we gotta we gotta surge, and to surge, we gotta be consistent, and we gotta um, we gotta we gotta you know find that sense of consistency and and the sense of you know just doing the small things right and, and believing and playing with each other. What's your sense of of yesterday's game? You know, you get a different you get a different viewpoint than I do because you're on the you're on the opposite side, basically the QB of the opposite you know opposite side of football. Tough tough game, uh, real hard fight yesterday that we went through. Uh, but like Caleb said, we know every game we go into, we're gonna get the best from the other team. It's, we got a target on our back; they want to really beat us. Uh, but yeah, from the defensive side, I said we went out there and we started off slow in that first half. A lot of guys didn't believe in their technique or didn't do their job. And we know we what we had to do going into that second half. And like we preached, the longer it goes, the better we get every yeah. single day. So we went out there and we we always preached we gonna no matter what no matter what happens, we're gonna keep fighting to the to the end of the game. And yeah. we got our the offense back. Let's try to get them the ball back because we got so much faith in our offense that they're gonna go and score the ball. So yeah. I'll say, yeah, it was a real tough fight for us. Was there anything specific like said or done in the halftime that kind yeah. of caused yeah. you to spark? Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't fully locked in at halftime. I was, I was locked in, but I wasn't like locked into what they were saying because I was trying to get my whole situation. I think it was Shane and yeah, Shane, Shane came. And, uh, he came Austin. in, brought him and Austin brought us up and yeah. gave us a little motivational speech. Told us like we know what we capable of. We got the players to go out here and win this game and let's keep fighting yeah. really we work hard for these moments and we know the work we put in behind the cameras and let's go out here and dominate play our game of football because we wasn't doing it in the first half we didn't look like ourselves so yeah regardless of really told us who the team is and who you're playing um and who you are i mean you're down 14 in the fourth quarter it's a tough that's tough a, that's a tough yeah, climb too tough. Um, and so um football games are hard to win um to be honest with you and you know, all the noise on the outside, all the, 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 you know, saying this and saying that about whatever. I mean, I, I don't know how many people that watch this are going to hear it, but I don't know how many people that put on a helmet each, you know, six days out the week. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and, and going to their and going to the accounting going, office. With yeah. People yeah. Going to accounting taking, offices taking like that, jabs which, at them which we need you. We I get need it. you, but. You know, we want you at the it's game and, and things like that. But, you know, they don't really understand what goes into it. And, um, I mean, that's the life that we chose. It's the life that we, yeah. you know, that I'm mm-hmm. choosing. And, and so we got to, you know, you live, live, with it. live with the good and live with the bad. I think you have to remember, though, that people just feel this is their one outlet. Yeah. This is their escapism. This yeah. is like their love. And so they want to live and breathe it with you guys. Yeah. You no, know, in a lot of ways. I think that's that's it. I mean, I'm stretching before games. Like I'm like, now he, I, I, am ready I wish I get to go, dude. He, you he, would think he, that he, I'm about to me. put eye black on, you know? No, he texts me, he texts me on Thursday, every Thursday now after I told him, you know, kind of my routine. He texts me every Thursday. He said, I'm starting two of everything Start today. Two. <laughs> two. Everything. Two. Starting two. Everything. two of everything. Yeah. Which is, which is always funny. Always, it always makes me laugh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Seeing him. Speaking seeing of which, do you, you have a ritual? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ritual, uh, Fridays or the Domino's pizza. Me and my, my roommate. Domino's. He's the most unhealthiest, <laughs> I'm the most good player <laughs> that I know. Like one. me, I'm I'm very like, I eat a lot of candy, but like I- Thin crust I, or hand tossed? Hand, hand tossed. 
Hand toss. The thin crust domino is a sleeper, but keep going. It is hand thin toss. crust is crazy at yeah, domino. It's, it's a sleeper crazy. though. It's a sleeper. It's a sleeper. It is crazy. Hand, 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 hand toss. toss. <laughs> like I used to eat, like I didn't want anything. If it was pizza, I didn't want anything. I used to go to my aunts and uncles all the time. If it, if it wasn't thin crust, I wasn't eating it. When's pizza fest? Thin crust. <laughs> they actually just had it. They, throw, uh, they th see, my guy, my my man throws that. But but I know. He's blowing the scene. Give it after me. <laughs> Damn. Wait, so what do you get on it? What's yeah. cheese, yeah. pepperoni? Pepperoni, bacon. There we mm. go. Uh, pepperoni, and bacon? Sausage. Pepperoni and bacon and sausage. That and is sausage. sausage. No ham? Yo. Take off the sausage. Put the ham on, bro. I got no it. No ham. With barbecue uh, drizzle. With barbecue. Dang, bro. That's disgusting. With what? <laughs> the barbecue. <laughs> with barbecue crazy. sauce? We this changed is it up. one so of the most regular, incredible our regular, orders. Our regular, just regular sauce. <laughs> Outraged. Me and my boy Tone change it up every week. We got to We got to have Y'all went to the hotel? Huh? Yeah, every yeah. everywhere we go, we gotta eat the dominoes on Friday. So no, Friday dominoes. Though. Any other ritual or superstition or no? Sausage with, oh, with barbecue uh, the next, on pieces. I gotta no, have, I get the three meats. I, I can't lie to you. I gotta have my sweet tea. Uh, sweet tea. A lot of guys know me. I, I stay with sweet tea. Stay with, with a sweet tea. What is it? Uh, uh, the the pure leaf. Uh, yeah, extra pure sweet. Leaf. Extra you always sweet. see a, a pure leaf. Extra in bag. sweet though. Not not extra, extra sweet. sweet. Not like that. Pure leaf. Okay. Yeah, purple brand. You see in store. But yeah, I always got to have that. Pure Leaf. <laughs> in case Pure Leaf is looking for an yeah. NIL deal. Our boy Kaylin, you Pure Leaf. Lock in, Pure Leaf. And then, yeah, the next morning, then on the game day, before we leave the hotel, we got to we gotta play that Meek Mill in that Rod Wave. There we, there we I go. Meek Mill fire. I'm not putting on Rod Wave. But yeah, Meek no, Mill? No, no, no. Yeah, not Rod Wave, no. Meek, Meek Mill, Mill, Mill Can you get the Ox or no? Uh, In the room? Yeah. We on the TV. We both listen. Oh. Me and Tone listen to the same music, so... It's the same songs Got every it. week. Yeah, no. Nah. It's a good ritual. I like this. It's smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. But how, how do you handle pressure? My mom always tells me no, there's no such thing as pressure. When you believe in yourself and you put the work in and behind them closed doors, it shows up on the time it's supposed to show up. So them Saturday game days, it's going to show up when you, no pressure. when you really put the work in. There's no pressure. You Prepare block out the it. outside. Nobody knows what you... What you gone through or what you put in, so yeah. only you believe in yourself. Is there that. is there anything specific? Because obviously there's some massive games coming up. Is there anything sp specific you're working on yourself? Handle what I can handle. Uh, go out there and play my game. Uh, I know, like I said, I know what I put in. I know the work my team put in every single day. So there's no pressure for us. We yep. we we're a real talented team. I believe we got the best guys at every unit. So. We just got to go out there and play our game. Because when we play our game, I feel like we're the best. When you guys are down or when they're, point, when, when they're kind of facing that uphill battle in the third quarter, fourth quarter, is the team does the team unravel? Do people fight? Is there finger pointing? Or is it the opposite? We fight. We fight. You fight? fight. We've been down and you, like 14 points. No, no, no. I'm talking about with each other. Oh, no, how do you no, I know what you're saying. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm oh, talking no, about no, how no, do you no, handle each other. each other. Yeah. I would hope you <laughs> fight to win. No, no, I know yeah. that. Fight on. No, we uh no, we don't we don't there's none of that. Yeah, that's none key. Of that. That's yeah, important we, to see. We bring each other up. Yeah, yeah, we've been shame. down, we've been down our past four games. At some point in the game, we've been down 14 points in each of the last 14 or last four games. We won two. We were one point away mm -hmm. from and one of them. And then to be honest with you, we were, you know, it seemed farther than than, you know, than what people think, but they right. that Notre Dame game, regardless of how bad we played, offense, defense, how bad I played, we were we were about one touchdown away from But I think that's a testament to leadership. And I think that's a yeah. championship team when because yeah. you you really find out who people are yeah. when when the chips are down, when you're when you're down. Yeah. Facts. And we done we played what, ten, uh, nine games now? Nine games, right? Yes. Seven to two? Yeah. yeah. Um, going, into, going into week 10, and we've been down and half no, of those, basically. Two. What's the record? Seven to two. Seven to two. Yeah, seven to two. Seven to two, seven two yeah. that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, Eight. yeah. Um, we've been down in half of those, basically. Yeah. And so, you know, and to come back and be so close in all of them is, is you know, a testament to... Yeah. Uh, the players here, and then obviously our, our coaches that believe in us, and you know it just feeds into to who we are. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like pressure makes diamonds too. Yeah, you know, bugs dropping that knowledge. I mean, O'Shea, <laughs> put, hey, O'Shea, you know, said it there last time with standard. You know, what I'm saying with the quotes, but yeah, it's a good one. Going going back to the game in terms of pressure making diamonds. I mean, I know how I was feeling, but I want to address the the eg one hand pick. That was smooth. That was crazy. That was what, crazy. You know, how, how I love react? seeing EG on because I as a as a Q, 
I've, I mean, I, I go over some five days out the week, EG, mm -hmm. yeah. four days out the week or whatever the case may be. In um, practice. In practice. Yeah. And so like, since he's gotten here, like, you know how disruptive he is, whether it's him, yep. you know, doing his job and, you know, filling the gap and, 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 you know, keeping the ball at the line of scrimmage or, or, or just, I mean, like Wimby out there. there. Yeah. I mean. dude's <laughs> three weeks, man. He make my job easy. I'm talking about dudes, wings, like you do RPOs, you it's do play time. action, you do, you know, you have intermediate routes, you know, yeah. to try and get things going or whatever the case may be, other than throwing That's something vertically or, or deep. It's like trying to get something across the middle with him just, you know, moving over a little bit. Yeah. You know, you may think you have it. And out of nowhere, he's just, you know, once yeah. he moves and reaches out, it's pick, bat it down, whatever the case may be, or trying to throw something some 12 yard route, yeah. you know, it's hard to throw a 12 yard route over and do the six. <laughs> what do you set, think? Six, what do you think makes with, him so disruptive is versus his others? length? His, his length, length is his mentality. His also. mentality too, yeah. Your dog. He's a, yeah, his yeah. dog. His dog. So, you know, it's, it's, you enjoy seeing him out there. You enjoy seeing him make plays. You enjoy um, going against him because he's, I mean, he's made me tremendously yeah. better having him on the opposite side of the ball for, you know, weeks and, and years now. So I'm um, speaking on to, 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 to Kalen and, and, you know, it makes his job easier yeah. um, on the defensive side. So yeah, uh, one more play for y'all too. One more play. It happened after that. It was that tack at ST punch out. Oh yeah. Tag it. Young tack. <laughs> Young tack. Young tack. Young tack always flying. Yeah, like wherever it. tack is, it's yeah. flying. Tack is a uh, missile. Bowling ball. <laughs> missile. Just coming clean pins. Um, Captain America. That's exactly what <laughs> Captain <is>. America. <laughs> he threw a shield. Shout He's out to Tacky. Yeah, shout out to Tacky. He, he did it. He, that, you know, Tacky's been playing and playing well. Um, in this last game, he didn't he didn't necessarily play as well, play as much. Um, you know, he got in special teams and he made that huge play for huge, us. Yeah. I mean, like huge. changed the whole kind of landscape of the of the huge end of that game play. for yep. us. Um you know, so it was, it was, it was big. It was big, and and you know, having him come in there and and, and you know make that play for us, you know, it means a lot to myself, Kalen, and all the other guys that yep. are out there playing. So um, the punch, yeah, <laughs> punch with the punch. But you know, since this was a away game, I do wanna, I do wanna speak on, you know, like you know, some of the away, away, you know, roles or away game rituals that we have. Um, and, and so, um, you could tackle, tackle this one, I guess, Kalen or, or, um, is, is, do you get the, do you get to, um, you know, pick your, pick your roommate or, you know, do the coaches kind of know, or, you know, whatever the case may be. And then like a curfew, do we have curfews? We have curfews and they walk in our rooms. They have a master key. I'll speak on that. Yes. They, <laughs> they have a master. You may be crazy. showering. You might be walking out of the shower and it's they have a master key. Well, Wiley kind of, just opened Wiley. Up. Our strength coach. It's all strength coaches. Well, no yeah, coaches. Strength no like coach. strength coach. They put so it on the door. door. They oh, they come in. They come in hot. They Check come in bathroom hot. closets. Bathroom closets. Under the bed. Yeah. yeah hey, they get, they get crazy. Hey, Wiley's crazy. funny though. It's, yeah. It's my dog. But we do have curfew. Um, it's only pretty early. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you, when you get into the room and now you're just sitting there. But um, yeah, that's that. And then. I I didn't get to um I didn't get to really pick my roommate. They just kind of knew. I'm good friends with Kyron. Yep. It's one of my yeah. one of my best friends on the team. And so um, you know, they they do a good job of kind of knowing us. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. I'll say the same thing. Uh, they knew who I hang out. I hang out with Anthony Beavers the most off the field. Yeah. Pretty good dude. Me and him really close. So that was that's been my roommate since my freshman year. Yeah. Yeah. What's, do you guys have a, a team ritual when you're on, when you go away? Yeah, we we get off the plane, we go straight there. Um, we get off the plane, we go straight there, and then after that, we just do a bunch of meetings. Um, depending on the time of game, the day, yeah. you know, the next day, is is kind of how we split all of our stuff up, um, and depends on how many breaks we yeah. we have throughout the day. Um, you know that that day, and then that that next morning um, is is kind of wherever our game is. If it's super late, we got a bunch of breaks. Um, you know, if it's super early or if it's like a weird time, like this yeah. last one, it's like we get up, you know, do all this stuff. We go eat, we shower and we go straight, straight there. Straight to the game. Yeah. It sounds crazy question, but do you prefer playing away or home? I love, I I do. Sorry to anyone that supports us, but 
I I like being away. The away uh, games, I would too. It's the best. Yeah, you it's play, the best. Yeah. Play, yeah, the away games is the best. Just having yeah. everybody in the crowd against yeah, you, yeah. like regardless of the time of you anything that's going on, unless you've silenced the crowd. Yeah, like they're always going. There's always something going on yeah, unless yeah. you silence the crowd. <laughs> you know, so it's it's away games are always really really fun. Yeah, home that. games to support. I mean, honestly, the sports been getting a lot better, especially the Utah game. Yeah. We were roaring in the Utah game. Had yeah. them jump off sides. They're a very technically sound team. And they jumped off sides a bunch of times, yeah. or a couple of times, and on 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 offense or defense. Um, and so, um, you know, it's you know, support at home has been getting a lot better compared to you know a couple of games this year or maybe last year, especially. But um, away games is always it's always top. I would I would understand that. Yeah, I'd be the same way. Yeah, in my mind, I am when I'm playing away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna catch you, all of y'all, here in a little bit. We're gonna take another break. We'll come back to you in a second. And we're back with the boys, just us. Um, John T stepped out. Um, and like I said, it's just us talking life, ball, and more. Uh, mm, yeah. let's, let's dive into it. Let's. It's clear to air. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and get just, it out there. Go ahead and get it out clear, before clear we air. even talk about anything else. Go ahead. Let's, let's go ahead. All right. Um, we're going to, you know, do a fit check, you know, from Kaylin to Zay to uh, C. Will. Let's start with C. Will, though. You know, <laughs> uh, no, no, we're, we're going to start right skip here. It. Okay. Yeah, we're going to skip it. Come back to okay. my dog over there. Um, we got this. Give me the whole fit rundown. I mean, top to bottom. I mean, holy cow. I mean, we had we had Sweetie on the other day. Icy, I had to come icy. I mean, yeah, it's frozen over the, there, you know. I got the alternate LVs on or uh, uh, Tim's on. <laughs> alternate Tim's on. Um, just got some cozy, you know. Balenciaga. Balenciaga. Okay. <laughs> Walking closet got more chrome than Starks. Yeah. Chrome in my heart hurt. Chrome make my heart hurt. Yeah. Mm. Shout out, shout out for all the dogs and yeah, for the real. Starks. Um, and then I have a question. Uh, my phone's not working. What time is it? Do you have a watch or anything you could let me know yeah, about what time it is or anything? I got a watch. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice one. That's smooth. I ain't Too seen smooth. that before. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, uh, Apple Watch. <laughs> iPhone. But that was a yeah. That's the fit today. Um, I got Adidas on. That's the fit today. Um, uh, we got. I ain't gonna lie. Let's y'all may you know right now he got on some some cool. He do got on top oh, no. piece. Oh, he's got top some, piece. We on him for but sure. Some cool stuff. every day at school. No. He oh got yeah, some I'll be seeing crazy. Him. I'll be seeing him. <laughs> him. Crazy. Yeah. Every day it's either a Travis Scott shoe, Cap. Hellstar, Hellstar, Balenciaga. Balenciaga every day. Balenciaga. I think, for sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. It's, I'm pretty no, sure. No. I'm pretty sure it's a Balenci every no, day. No. no. USC. Okay, USC look. gear all day. <laughs> And I am treating you nice, huh? No. <laughs> oh, man. Treating you nice. Shoot. And we slide over. We got virus scenes. I mean, the man makes his own. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I priceless. Just, you know. priceless. Priceless. It's a priceless. 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 Yeah, the I'm feet. chilling. Feet okay. Okay. Oh, you're chilling. The feet crazy. The, the lucky charms. I don't. Nah, they just some shoes. I'm still trying to get Shoe those. No, I'm I, still trying to I'm get them. Still trying. That's to get all. I ain't got not one pair. Not at all. Not the blue. Not the not the yellow. Not the not the white. <laughs> not the black. Green. Green. Those are off Keep white. Going. I mean, I yeah, they're off white. That's cool though. <laughs> Shout smooth, out Verge. Smooth. I want to uh, get back on Kalen because he thought he got a, a yeah, pass. Yeah, yeah. Or he, a thought he, he, he thought he got away. He thought he got away. I, I got to go. Just, you know, so fit. We have a thing in our defensive meetings. If you walk in there with a hoodie that we haven't seen before, we Google it. Uh, I'm, Ooh, uh, that's, <laughs> a, that's what yeah, you do? Yeah, we Google, yeah, Google yeah. it. That's cool. Pull up, pull up I the walk prices. in every day normally with, with pull sweats. Up the prices. He pull up the prices. On the big screen? Yeah, that's yes. on the big screen. The prices. Not the Not the big screen. It's talking the big screen. Everybody get to see it. Crazy. Me? You, yeah, you normally him, nah. J Rock, J Rock is crazy. Mostly J Rock, no, no, it's you too. J Rock, <laughs> J Rock, no, no, Spider, himself. No, it's you. Nah, bro. I'll be every sure. day I see you, bro, and that's every day. Seven days a week. Eight a.m. Hey. No star. I'm like, damn, bro, I was wearing the USC. I'm talking about we got gear. workouts, bro. Walk in every day. He come crazy. crazy. No. no, I come in with sweats and sandals. Sandals. 
You feel me? Reverse Tim's. Yeah, it's alternate Tim's. Alternate Tim's. Alternate Tim's. Alternate Tim's. Alternate, 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 alternate Tim's. I seen those. They Tim's slash loafers. That's how I put it. Only one guy I've been getting, that, that I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, type of day. Type of day. <laughs> you know, basketball season about to start, and our boy Zay right here, they get to do, you know, kind of like the same thing that we do on our on our game days, the little yep. walk in. Let's let's first fit. What's what's yeah, today? What's the first fit? What's today? Like six oh, days. We got, we got what? How many days left in October? First home. Like game. a week? First you know, like a week left. First home, first home game. game. We got he, he came crazy hoop LA. What? Crazy. Probably no. a lot of people didn't see it, but he no, I seen it. <laughs> hey, a lot of people probably didn't see it. it but I seen he, it. He came crazy. Yeah, him came and Bugs came crazy. You and Bug. Come on. Can you explain that fit? Yeah, let's go back to oh, what I had on. Uh Amiri. 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 Off the rip. Chrome Argent. I had some Dior's on. <laughs> I had, I was a, I was a myriad with the with the top and bottom with the Dior's. It was something smooth though. It wasn't it wasn't man for real. He said it's a it's not it's a, nah, not it's crazy. Not, nah, it's not crazy. It's not crazy. It's not crazy. Right. had the top. It's not a fire drill. It's the real thing. The real thing. It was something smooth. First game though. I mean, it's first game. Tip. You gotta come crazy. First, I'm trying to think. I'll probably go shopping next week, see what okay. I'm gonna put together. But we got more games, so you know you gotta. You gotta, gotta, you, gotta us. you gotta. You gotta break it down. Yeah, so. you gotta, you gotta yeah, break you it gotta down. Yeah, Me, yeah. Mm, we got like seven homes. Yeah. I'm yeah, I'm it on every home, seven every time, yeah. seven uh, every shit. time. But we got, we got. You know, look, like I said, we talked about the that part of it. But basketball, basketball versus football. Fashion? Best fit. Fashion. Yeah. Who's, who's really throwing fits? Don't say BG. Bug come oh, trim. Oh, I thought you were going to say BG. <laughs> Bug come trim. Nah, Bug come trim. Yeah, does. shout out BG. But uh, <laughs> Bug come trim. I thought he was, he was like, I thought he was going to say BG. ZB come trim. Who? ZB. ZB. Yeah, ZB always come trim. trim now. Brownie, he come trim to Brownie, class. Brownie yeah. going to come trim. Yeah, Brownie going to come trim. Obi put it on sometimes for sure. He do. He love his hoodies. Yeah. He do love his uh, hoodies. <laughs> well, BG be smooth sometimes. BG gonna have his uh, moments. He BG gonna have his be smooth sometimes. He be smooth sometimes. Yeah, I just want BG tall. yesterday. BG, 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 BG gonna have his moments. Tall. He Big gonna have his moments. Lines. He just can't find his shoe side. I would have gone. <laughs> Pants so, be too damn tight. <laughs> they got his shoes. So, BG. Who else? Kobe. Yeah. Kobe be putting stuff on sometimes. Yeah. It's almost the whole team. I mean... Yeah, we 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 might come. That's the whole team. We, we might, might come true. We, we got we're coming through this shit for sure. Okay, feel that. Okay, feel that. Y'all, uh, I don't think I don't have a handshake, but y'all got handshakes with any of your teammates or 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 I know basketball do when they all got. Yeah, the, we got a little team thing celebration. Yeah. So I mean, every time we walk in the locker room, every time we see each other, we're probably gonna do it. But um, them intros probably gonna come. You know. That's when they gonna come out. Who the who the who's the? Uh, oh, it's gotta be ZB. Who you got the who you got ZB. the coldest one with? Yeah, see ZB. ZB at the end. ZB doing it, but who 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 has like the coldest one of out of all of y'all that you think? BG 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 got a handshake with everybody on campus. I swear he do. <laughs> he's talking about everybody. Like, 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 BG know everybody. everybody. He's like, he got a handshake like, with me. BG, BG <laughs> got a handshake. Got it, BG got a handshake with everybody on campus. I can't even lie. The nah, trainers, no everybody. Yeah, nah. BG BG yeah, know no. everybody on campus. No, nah, for real. Yeah, man. That shit is funny. We got a we got a bunch of games coming up here. We got the the big Washington game coming up um, oh, at home, um, so we need all the support. Um, and, and speaking on that, I know our boys will probably be there if they if they can. If they're not anywhere else or in Vegas already, no, we there. Um, like I said, shout out the boys, um, Zay, L Bugs, of course, my guy right here, Seven C Seven, Kalen, and then uh, John T. Hmm. Um, other than that, that's almost pro podcast, football podcast um, of the USC Trojans. Um, shout out Tommy Group, hmm. um, like I said, and shout out USC basketball, USC football, um, and and all of the above. Make sure you subscribe, share, follow, leave a great review, um, and and leave some comments. Uh, we love the you know. Get y'all get y'all's feedback and figure out whatever we need to talk about, whatever y'all like to hear, um, and keep this thing going. Fight on. Fight on. Fight on. Fight on. Fight on.